Okay, to take a rectal temperature, the only supplies that we need are a rectal thermometer. The rectal thermometer will always be red, so you should only use that for this route, um, and of course not use it for a, an oral temperature, and don't use a blue or an oral thermometer for the rectal route. So those are my supplies. I would knock on the door. Hi, Lee, I'm here to take your temperature. I'm Myra, I'm your CNA. Is that okay? So I'm gonna put the thermometer down on a barrier and I'll wash my hands. And that curtain is pulled. I've already raised the side rail because I need to roll to the Sims position. Close this curtain. Okay, I'm gonna raise the bed up to my working height. And then I'll put my gloves on. So Lee, I'm going to roll you onto your left side into the Sims position. So I'm going to use the lift sheet and have you scoot over towards me on three. One, two, three. Okay. And then I'll raise your right knee and we're going to roll you to the left. One, two, three. Okay. In the Sims position, the left arm should be underneath the resident on this back side. A Sims position is rarely used. It's really only for rectal temperatures and um, administering enemas that a nurse would do. I'll leave him there. I'm going to put the probe cover onto the thermometer. And again, that will depend on what type of thermometer you have. I'm going to remove this outer portion here. And then with the rectal temperature, I always want to put some lubrication on. And again, that will depend on your facility, Vaseline, um, KY jelly, anything is fine. So that just makes it a little more comfortable. So I'd put that on over the pro. Um, and again, this position puts the colon in the, um, an e easier route to put the rectal thermometer in. So obviously I can't insert that into the mannequin, but if I had that in an actual person, I would hold my hand there so the thermometer doesn't go in too far. And then when it beeps, I would take that out. Um, I can use a wipe to get any of the lubrication off and get the reading. Throw that away. And I will put that back on my barrier and take my gloves off. Sanitize and then get Lee positioned again. All right, Lee, I'm going to use the lift sheet to roll you back onto your back. Be careful over your arm here. it up. Okay, are you comfortable? And then I would lower the bed. And I'll open the curtain. Make sure you have your call light. The bed is locked. Okay, and then I will sanitize my hands again, bring the thermometer back to wherever it's stored, and then document the temperature.